welcome back to the Bear Pipe channel. Today I wanted to talk about the one thing that all pipe smokers hate and that is a pipe that gurgles. And I'm going to do it on our Brigham Pipe project. It's the last thing that needs to be done on this pipe to get it ready to go back out into the world. I really like the way it's come out, the stain and the, the stem that's all cleaned up with the nice two brass buttons on it. It looks fantastic, it looks brilliant. but you can smoke this pipe the way it is now without having to deal with a gurgling problem. And the reason is very simple. The bowl construction is faulty. This has a tapered bowl, which means the bowl comes down to a fairly uh, tight end that's kind of tapered down to a sharp end. The problem is that the bottom of that taper actually sits below the bottom of the draft hole that goes through the shank. And what happens then is you have moisture that accumulates during your smoke in that little pocket, eventually it builds up to, an, to an, enough of a height that it gets sucked into the draft hole and that creates the gurgling effect. It's very easy to fix, it's very easy to eliminate by using pipe mud. So today I wanted to show you how you use pipe mud to remove a gurgle. Before we get into that, I wanted to give a shout out to Lawn Smoke. Lawn Smoke is a core member of the YTPC. He's been around for a while. He makes a very solid contribution to the YTPC community. He has thousands of followers um, and he was generous enough this week to give me a shout out and to, to look at some of the things that I've done and actually to use it as inspiration for a pipe that he repaired. And it looked fantastic what he did on it, by the way. And that was quite generous of him and very kind of him to do that and i wanted to extend the thank you back to him by encouraging you that if you have not subscribed to him please go and check out his channel if you like what he's doing please subscribe as a favor to me uh, to say thank you to him for what he's done for me so with that let's get into the pipe and let's see how we fix that gurgle so let me just show you what the issue is and you can see there that when I light inside the bowl, the bowl goes past the bottom of the draft hole where the pipe cleaner is in. Let me turn it around and then I'll show you another way that you can see this. When I put a light inside this, you can see that the light casts a little circle of light here on the, on the front end of the bowl, but there's a shadow in between. The light doesn't shine all the way through on the bottom of the uh, bottom surface of the bowl and that's a problem because what that does is it creates a little area there where moisture can collect and then it gurgles and we're going to fix that today and uh, i'm going to suggest that you also look at some of the videos that cane rod piper has done with regards to this because he has come up of his own recipe, recipe for pipe mud, which I haven't tried yet, but it sounds quite interesting. Um, I don't have to follow his recipe for this one because it's in the bottom of the bowl and I can just use the regular old cigar ash method for this because um, it's not a very complicated one. And when I say cigar ash, I really do mean cigar ash. What I have here is the ash from a Cuban cigar. And to start off, just using something to break it up and make it into a powder. And you can see it reduces in size quite a bit. And you don't need a lot, but you need enough. And it's important that you break up all the little bits until it becomes a fine powder. And I'm just using the back of a nail to do it. You can use any kind of, you can do a mortar, mortar and pestle if you, if you want to be um, sophisticated about it. Or you can just do what I've just done. And there we go. You can see there's no, it's a nice even gray ash. No big bits in it. Okay. Now what we're going to do with this is I'm going to, Dump that out in there. 
just make sure we've got it all nicely ground up. And now you're going to add a little bit of water to this. And what happens with this is when you when you moisten this and you make it into kind of a, like a dry paste cement, and you pack it into the bottom of the bowl and you pack it tightly, once it dries, it becomes rock hard. Um, but I will say this, uh, there is, there's a limitation to this. When you put it on the sides of a bowl, it can be quite delicate and it breaks quite easily. And, and what I will do with this is I will actually do a bowl coating on this, usually over the cigar ash, just to protect it. So to start off with, I'm just going to put like three or four drops in here. You start slowly with this and you work your way up because you're trying to make a paste and it's it absorbs the water a lot quicker than you think and very quickly turns into a runny mud which you don't want. And so it's important that you go slowly. Because uh, once you've put too much water in, well, you've got to smoke another cigar, to get more ash, I guess. But I'm not in the mood for that. And you can see it's already starting to develop the ability to be compressed. It's almost there. You use you need very little moisture. You don't want it too dry. You want to be able to, to compress it like that and so that it stays. But I'm just going to add one more drop. Call it two. Uh, just to... Always think of a dry pack cement, if you've ever done that. Uh, it kind of feels like it has to have that kind of consistency. Yeah, that's better. So what you can see now is when I compress it, it just stays compressed. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I have the back of a drill bit available so I can stick it in here and, and just find the draft hole because you don't want the draft hole to get clogged up. And to start off with, I'm just going to put a pipe cleaner in there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop in some of the ash. And I'm putting a fair amount in because you've got to compress this quite a bit. And then I'm going to take my tamper, which is the back of a nail. You can use anything. And I'm going to pack it down really, really tightly. And I've probably got a little too much in here, but that's okay. Because um, if there's too much, we can work it back down. And now I'm going to, I'm going to shove in the, um, the drill bit. And, and I'm going to start scraping away some of this ash. Until I uncover the drill bit. There we go. And I'm going to show you in a second what it looks like. Now I'm just going to work it back down again. And I like to have the bottom of the bowl be flush with the bottom of the draft hole. 
So let me just show you what I've got right now. And you can see there, the draft hole has made a little divot in the, in the, that means I've got a little too much ash in there. I just gotta press it down a little more, take a little more out until I get it nice and level. So I'm just gonna scrape out a little bit. I'm gonna press it down again. I'm kind of letting the, the, the tamper kind of slide down the edge. So I'm kind of forcing the ash to the center. Tamp it down as hard as you can. And now, Now let's see what we have. So you can see there at the bottom, it's a little uneven still. I need to kind of even it out. And for that, I'm going to use my finger because the final push, I find your finger is the best thing to just feel what you're doing. looking I think fairly good right now Let's see if I can get the angle right so you guys can see what I'm seeing you can see there let me just put the pipe cleaner in and you'll see you'll see the pipe cleaner is now right on the surface there and if I light this in from the back side you can see there it's beginning to to light across the surface, which is what I'm looking for. Now, I'm just going to level it out a little bit. And let's see. And you can see I'm pretty much there. There's a tiny, tiny little bit where it's a little lower, but it's very little. There we go. What you're now seeing is just a bit of unevenness. Yeah, that looks great. And you can see now the difference in the light. It runs right across the surface. And you get a, a straight light all the way through, which means that
I can be a bit fastidious with this because I want it perfect. And I probably am more fussy about it than it needs to be. There we go. Now I'm happy with that. You can see the light going right across the bottom. And you can see when I light down in it, you basically have a little patty of, of packed down ash at the bottom, which is now filling up that hole. The bottom of the, of the bowl is now level with the bottom of the draft hole. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this sit and I'm going to let this dry. I usually let it dry for a few days uh, because it takes a little while for the ash to completely dry out. I found that I can actually go directly with the, um, the bowl coating over it within a day or two, but then it takes a lot longer for the cigar ash to completely dry out. So I wait for it to go to a white color. And then I know that it's dry and then it's um, ready to to be coated and ready to smoke. So that's how you do that. Do go and check out Kainrat Piper's channel because he does have, uh, if, you, if you have a burnout, say on the side of the bowl, the cigar ash can be a little too delicate to be able to survive and to stay in place and can be difficult to, to hold it in place unless you use a bowl coating over it. He came up with a pipe cement that is quite suitable for the sides of bowls and, and seems to work quite well. So uh, if you do that, go check out his videos, see what he's done and, and use his recipe because I think it's quite a good one. So with that, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you found this useful. Mm -hmm.